Just want to show you guys something I purchased for this high point C9 9mm. I purchased these di digital desert camo grips. They are a little bit better textured than the factory one. And that was the main reason I purchased these is that the way that it comes, and if you look at the reviews, and I've even shot this, is that this is very, uh, very slick. It doesn't have any texture on it. And if your hand perspires and you're doing a lot of shooting or something like that, it'll, it'll make it slip around a little bit. And you just don't have as good a grip on this. So I recommend getting something different. I did originally purchase this off of eBay. And this rubber grip, it's just a rubber one that slips on right up over. So it kind of looks like that. And it does have the finger holds where you put in. And I do like this and I may end up using it again, but I saw these and I, I thought they'd be kind of nice to put on there. And you know, I, I like these firearms and I don't mind adding a little bit of stuff to them. But like I said, I purchased these on eBay, same place that I purchased this. They come from High Point, so it fits. When you go to remove it, you pop that little screw right there out on this. So the screw will come out. And then what it'll do is you'll lift up this end. So this side. When you lift up this side like this, then you'll pop it out this way. It's got these two little tabs there and there. And they're really easy to see. But you don't want to break those. So what you're going to do is you'll take that screw out. Lift it up a little bit and just go pop that right out and then you can replace the other one. This one does have a little spring on the back right here. So you will have to compress it just a little bit when you go to put it down. You just got to kind of give it a little bit of pressure, put the screw in, tighten it down. It's a piece of cake if you haven't messed with any kind of hardware or things like that. So the reason I'm kind of bringing these, these firearms to everybody's attention isn't that I'm getting paid, it's that for the price, there's no reason why if you're considering buying a firearm, you shouldn't have one of these. They're $150 plus transfer fees and tax, brings it right about $200. I bought a couple extra magazines and I've just been buying little things. These, this was like $14 for these grips. I think these were, this was like 10. I bought the Phobis uh, holster and I did have to do a little bit of modification. I showed you on the other video. So it does fit well with the extended magazine. I mean, it does look fairly good to me. You know, it's not a bad firearm. Everybody says how ugly it is, and I think they're wrong. 150 bucks, you should be able to defend yourself with that. And it has no kick. Anybody can shoot it. If you are going to buy one, definitely get this manual. You can purchase this manual on eBay as well. I did a previous video about it. But there's no reason why anybody shouldn't have these. It's something good to have around the house, just in the event that you need to protect yourself and the way that things are looking and maybe lean in that way. So I purchased this on gunbroker.com. I had it shipped to my local gun store. I paid a $30 transfer fee, and that was all it took. They were in the background check. They did everything that they're supposed to. But if you're a law-abiding citizen, you think about buying a gun, there's no reason why you shouldn't have one of these. They fire good. You know, it's affordable home defense. It's exactly what I wanted. And I like them. I don't mind doing a little bit of work on them. So I want to pass it on to you guys. You all take care.